Part 3 Installing Steel Apron Assemblies The instructions in this demonstration are basic guides and are not intended to cover all situations that may arise in the installation process. There will be specific conditions for each project which will need to be managed as they occur. Kiwani steel apron assemblies come from the factory as ordered and ready for installation. If a knee space panel was specified, the brackets and hardware for those items are included. To install the assembly, you will need the following tools and hardware. We recommend a drill for drilling pilot holes, an impact gun for driving screws, a carpenter's level, a laser level, leveling shims, a minimum of two welder's clamps, and proper safety equipment. You will also need a quantity of half-inch self-tapping screws. These attachment screws are not included with the assembly. The installation manual, which can be downloaded from Kiwani.com, should be read carefully before beginning the installation. Check the contents of each box to verify all expected items are included. Measure the space provided for the assembly and the elevation and verify that it matches the drawings as well as the measurements of the assembly itself. If the field measurements were not taken correctly, the assembly may not fit properly. If the apron is supported by a cabinet on one side and a pedestal or legs on the other, begin by installing the base rail to the cabinet bottom, making sure that the base rail is flush with the bottom of the cabinet so that there will be no gaps between the top edge of the knee space panel and the worktop, apron, or apron rail depending on the assembly. If the assembly has two adjacent cabinets, secure the base rail to the bottom of the cabinets at this time. Attach the apron to the pedestal or legs using welder's clamps and half inch self tapping screws. Then secure the apron to the adjacent cabinet with the same type of screws ensuring the assembly is flush and level with the adjacent units. Legs are equipped with levelers. Pedestals can be leveled using shims. If the apron is against the wall with no leg or pedestal, you should install a cleat to the wall under the apron to provide needed support. After the apron is secured, a measurement should be taken at the bottom from the front of the adjacent units to the base rail. Use this measurement to finish the base rail installation by attaching it to the pedestal at the same distance. Also use this measurement below the apron from the front of the adjacent units to mark the location of the knee space brackets on the cabinet and pedestal. This ensures the brackets are in line with the installed base rail. After marking the location, pilot holes should be drilled and the bracket should be attached to the adjacent cabinets and pedestals using half-inch self-tapping screws. Pre-fit the knee space panel. Mark the locations of the bracket attachment points and drill the corresponding pilot holes. Finally, using the provided hardware, attach the knee space panel to the brackets.